So from here, ayun ang Bay Bridge. Uh, and the Bayview Boat Club. And then nandun yung mga malalaking uh, barko sa likod niyan. I mean, sa harapan. Grabe, ang ganda rito. Kabing dagat. Ang sarap ng amoy ng hangin. Yung salty air. But pero fresh na fresh yung yung amoy. Tapos look at that. Ang laki ng barko. Oh. Then meron pa doon. Somewhere in there. And yung boathouse. Tsaka ang gaganda ng mga bulaklak. At solong solo ko dito. Yun yung, yun yung hot chocolate ko. Pwede kang umupo dyan or dito. Yan, mag you know, muni muni Pakinggan mo yung ano ng alon, yung salpok sa batuhan. Very uh, calming. Lalo na kapag ka umaatake yung anxiety ko o yung super stress. Yung, yun, yung, yung tunog ng, uh, ng mga seagulls. O, oh, diba? May nag, pwede mag-jogging, pwede mag-rent ng bike doon, mag-bike around dito dahil napakalinis, napakatahimik ng buong neighborhood. Ang ganda parang fisherman swap or parang kang nasa Maine, uh, yung state ng Maine, or even Washington sa Tacoma or Port uh, Rachel, Washington, or sa Bremerton, California. Hey, dito sa fisherman swap, San Francisco. Look at that. Iba, ang gaganda ng mga bulaklak, oh. Perfect. I love flowers. I love nature. I love ocean, beach. And I love this kind of, you know, mood. Like house by the the ocean or waterfront. Look at that. Ooh, look. Merong ano, oh. Merong um, parang ta water taxi or yung may, tour, may mga tour, tour guide, tourists, ganun. Nice. Bayview Boat Club here in Mission Bay near the ocean. I think it's like also like a, a shipyard or something. Very, very close to the Bay Bridge. Right behind me. And there the, the, the ship. The, the ship. And... Wow, that's so huge. Oh, yung gaganda ng ano. Ganda pa ng mga flowers nila. Ooh, there's another one. Right there. I've been to, I like this kind of place. Like when I, when I visited my grandma in Retzel, Washington. Uh, I went to Tacoma. I went to Bremerton. Because my father used to work at Bremerton in the Navy shipyard. And then I went to their port. It's like Fisherman's Wharf. And then I found this curiosity shop at the, at the wharf over there. It's really amazing place. Oh wow, look at this place. It's so nice to come here, you know, if the weather is nice like this. And then look how peaceful. And then you can have this place to yourself. You can sit there or on those rocks. And then over here. And you can enjoy the, the view. Plus the um, ocean uh, sea breeze. Which I love. I miss this. Because I grew up in the Philippines. In Subic Bay. We're surrounded by the beach. The resorts and the ocean and i'm used to this kind of uh this smell whenever we travel from uh from our place subic to olongapo then we we go to the zigzag highway and then 
it's overlooking the cliff and you can see the ocean and you can smell the sea breeze i grew up with this kind of smell i love the ocean and my goodness i wish this place is very near to my my place here in san francisco but I traveled kind of far to get here. I took the tea, tea train just to see this because you d we don't have this in downtown. We, yeah, we have a, what's this? A waterfront at the Embarcadero at the back of a Perry building, but you can't come as close as this. Like I'm stepping near the water. Over there, there's a big fence, and there's no nothing like this. It's a pavement, and then a a a, a steel fence. So this is this is much much better. Look at that! It's like a mini garden with beautiful wild flowers. Oh my goodness! I love this. You don't know how I'm loving this right now. I've been longing for this kind of serenity away from the the super noisy city like night and day day and night out 24 7 crazy loud noises from your neighbors from the uh, the sirens of the non-stop cop chasing and the ambulance the fire alarm from the building that goes on and off you don't know how stressful it is until you live that kind of life and that's my kind of life here in the city for 30 years now so just to be here right now this is a treat for me like once in a while and i thank god i love this oh that that smell that salty air I don't care they said it's fishy no uh, I love it whenever I go to the public market in Sambales we called it Bulungan it's a fish port I love the smell even the public market where the, the the wet market I grew up like that I'm so organic I love nature I go to the mountain the river the fire uh, I mean the the rice field the meadows and I play in the hay you know, after they harvest the, the, the rice, my childhood uh, friends, we play on the hay. We go to the banana plantation, we go up the that volcano in our uh, hometown. It's called San Isidro and we have this uh, doorman. I, I don't know if it's a volcano, but it, it's shaped like a volcano. But since uh, as far as I can remember du during my elementary days up to now, it it's it's just like that it looks like a volcano but i hope it's not but if it is it's dormant for a very long time and i hope it stays that way we used to climb all the way to the top and then the view from from up there looking down to the whole barrio and the nearest barrio also neighboring town and then the the ocean the the acres of rice field the the banana plantation it's just beautiful I miss my hometown. I can't wait to go back home once again. The last time was 2019 and then I was gonna go back again but the pandemic hits and I canceled my my flight. But before I was able to go home last 2019, I waited eight, almost eight years if not eight years exactly because last time before 2019 I was home 2012. Yep. And that is crazy. Long time, eight years to, to wait to go back home. It's, it's like you're gonna go out of your mind. And the homesickness hits so differently, especially, you know, special holidays. When you're here in the in abroad by yourself, no family at all. But hey, you just gotta roll with the punches, as they said. You gotta do what you gonna what you have to do stay strong all the time because if you live abroad on your own being weak or self-pity wallowing and um, being um, what you call this afraid is not an option you always have to be strong all the time mentally physically spiritually or else you're gonna break down take it from me I've been on my own since 
after I graduated high school, I left the Philippines and I migrated here. And you can rent a bike too, see? You can, you know, bike around this neighborhood. It's really clean, quiet. Chase Center is just over there, not far away from here. Really beautiful uh, part of the town. And this, oh, I love this. It reminds me of our backyard. My mom loves to garden so much. Like even if it's uh, high noon, he's, she's still planting and cultivating and she's just love she she's a, a you know a woman of like with a green thumb i keep i keep telling that to her before i love this i you know this is the next best thing for me like reminding me of home anyway yeah i just you know wanted to tell that simple a story <laughs> where I came from and you know the background all right you guys thank you for watching this vlog and thank you for listening I appreciate it and I'll see you on the next vlog and please if you don't mind you know like the, the, the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I do appreciate it and welcome in advance and I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Alright, take care out there and God bless to us all.